This particular problem is very closely related to what I had hoped we might talk about a little, namely, the problem of having more than one photosynthetic organism operating at once. Because, if there is a balance within a single species, it is quite likely that the environment can control the relevant proportion of competing species that never completely eliminate each other. I would like Dr. Riley to give us some ideas about the possibility of organisms that are obviously different being exactly the same. I think Dr. Hutchinson is asking me to set myself up as a target for people to shoot at, which I shall do now. I am sure most of us are acquainted with the simple sort of mathematical competition theory which says, in effect, that two species cannot occupy the same niche, or, to put it in slightly different words, if two organisms compete for exactly the same sort of materials in their environment, the one with the higher growth potential will eliminate the other one from the environment. There is a possibility, and I repeat, I am setting myself up as a target, that these organisms are so nearly equal in their ability to compete that they do not eliminate each other. There are a certain number of enzyme systems and problems of absorption of the same kind of nutrients in the water, and we can at least propose the hypothesis that selection leads toward an optimum ability, under these particular conditions, to achieve the kind of materials that they want, and that this optimum is so nearly the same in all of the species concerned that there is essentially no elimination by competition. I might say I really wasn't trying to sell this theory to anybody. I think it is undoubtedly much too simple an explanation. Plankton problems are never as simple as the seem at first glance. I would feel very worried if this were accepted as something that is perfectly obvious. I have a suspicion that the difficulties in accepting it are really very, very great, but we may have to. It does seem to be the only explanation put forward that has any sense to it. Why are you worrying about it? Why does it worry you, Dr. Hutchinson? Because, first, Nobody in the critical experiment has ever been able to show anything like this. And second, because, given a certain axiomatic setup, it is relatively easy to see that in a stable population it is very unlikely to happen. Once one admits coexistence of species in the same niche, even if they are maintained by fluctuations of the direction of competition as the environment changes, one inevitably has the possibility of some random local extinction.